Is that a word? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Paris and in this video we will be talking about what they don't tell you after your hair transplant. Number one, you have pushed past all the scabs being gone. You have little sprouts. You are able to style your hair. I find myself all the time I will get out of the car and as I'm getting out, I look directly at my window at the reflection to see like, are my edges there? Like, are they really there? Cause I'm not used to hair being right here. So now I am six months post. Just last week, I wore my hair in these two huge puff balls before I did these twists. Before I left the house, I was fine. Like I was good. As soon as I stepped foot into my job, I just instantly started to think like, oh man, can somebody see my edges? Can somebody see my ball spots? I ran right to the bathroom to look at my reflection in the mirror and I'm like, calm down. You have edges. So just be aware about that. It might take some time for you to get used to the fact that you now have hair. Number two. Right now, yes, this is the time where you want to be as gentle as possible. I find myself putting on edge control and not wanting to slick it back, brush it in, no nothing. I paid way too much money for me to swoop my edges and they just come right out in the baby hairbrush. So I find myself trying to be extremely gentle but at the end of the day, it's not gonna come out if I were to put a little edge control or pull it, put a little bit of gel. They are secure. It is six months. You know, that, that was six months ago. It's secure. I just would not suggest pulling and tugging and adding them into braids. That's a huge no, especially it hasn't even been a year yet. For this one is a huge one for me like this whole hair transplant thing it was like way bigger than just my edges when i think about it i have been living with this issue since i was about five years old i finally fixed it it's good but then it makes me think what else can i fix in my life not saying surgically or anything like that but really think about things put things in perspective like okay i just fixed this issue and now I'm, I'm feeling great about myself. But what about the other things in my life that I have yet to fix? I am not organized. I am not an organized person. I am not consistent. I'm not consistent with anything. And honestly, these videos that I have been putting up, this has probably been the most consistent I have been in my life ever, which is sad. Even down to my self care, cutting some things out. I can really make changes in my life, honestly. Four, styling can be done, but I would just suggest you do the bulk of your hair and just leave your edges alone. I did my hair transplant two months before my wedding. I am not sure why. So I set up my hair transplant in the beginning of February. I got engaged on my birthday, which is February 13th. I already had my appointment. We didn't Honestly, we did not plan the wedding. We didn't plan to have the wedding this year, but we did it anyway. So I didn't have any scabs, but everything was gone, like down to the little bitty hairs that I did have. So there was no swoops or anything. There was just a straight middle part for my wedding. Turned out lovely, but I was definitely lucky that you know, none of it was exposed. Look nice, right? People do ask, like when I talk about it, when I bring it up, like what styles are you able to do right after your uh, hair transplant? It's all up to you. Now with me, I had my sides done, so I was able to do a middle part. I've done these faux locks. I have done box braids, like the huge big box braids. A friend of mine went to the same doctor, same clinic and got hers done, but hers was a tad bit, I'm not gonna say worse, but she got more work done than, than I did. She did get her forehead area uh, done as well. 
I will insert some pictures of her hair just to let you know like styling can be done it's just you just have to be gentle if you're not gentle it'd be pointless for the whole hair transplant now there's a few things that you can do like silk scarves um let's say you want to do a couple two strand twists or whatever you can put a silk scarf a uh, headband around it or you can just wear it up in a scarf but that is it for this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and hit the post notification bell for any updates on this channel thanks for watching